I mean, I got, I got a bunch of sort of n nutty stories. SpaceX had to do the study to see if, if uh, Starship would, would hit a shark. <laughs> and I'm like, it's a big ocean, you know. Uh, there's a lot of sharks. It's not impossible, but it's very unlikely. It's true that technical challenges have never been the main thing hindering SpaceX Starship's progress. The bottom line here is always regulatory bodies and organizations, both of which are notorious for bureaucratic requirements. In today's episode of A Space Droid, let's grab some popcorn, sit down, and listen to SpaceX's CEO share the amusing and sometimes frustrating experiences the company faces when trying to get the green light to launch Starship. Find out everything in today's episode. The government, in general, is increasingly acting more like obstacles than competent regulators. Instead of streamlining processes to support innovation, they impose rules that often seem absurd, serving little purpose other than prolonging paperwork. One of the most amusing stories that SpaceX has experienced involved an experiment on the impact of sonic booms on SEALs. Due to concerns about the effect of sonic booms from SpaceX's rocket launches out of Vandenberg in California, the company was asked to conduct a study. They needed to assess the potential impact of rocket launches on local SEAL populations. Despite the area's long history of rocket launches and a steadily increasing SEAL population, environmental regulators still required this unique study. The amazing part was how calm the SEALs were. No stress, no panic. And that was the end of the study. Nothing more. Elon humorously explained, It looked like something out of a sci-fi movie, where you come back and say, I swear something strange happened. It was a pointless test. More notably, the test was conducted twice, using different SEALs, each time to meet regulatory demands. NASA describes a sonic boom as a thunder-like noise heard when an aircraft flies overhead faster than the speed of sound. Studies have indicated that sonic booms generally do not harm wildlife. SpaceX's website states, The general impact to those in the surrounding area of a sonic boom is a brief noise. The FAA, in consultation with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, evaluated the sonic booms from the landing of the Super Heavy and found no significant environmental impacts. Another example of overregulation involves concerns about starship hitting sharks in international waters. But here's the thing. Sharks don't live near the surface. Most spend their lives deep underwater. According to deep-sea scientist Dr. Dean Grubbs, 56% of shark species live below 700 feet or 213 meters. For that reason, the likelihood of the spacecraft hitting a shark is extremely low. Still, regulatory agencies seem to persist. When SpaceX asked for data to support these concerns, they couldn't provide any. The response was something like, well, we don't trust our own data. This led to more ridiculous scenarios, like concerns about whales being affected by rocket launches. At this point, the probability of such events seemed nearly impossible, but the regulatory hurdles continued. These anecdotes highlight the complexities that space companies must navigate. While protecting the environment is crucial, some of these stories raise questions about the effectiveness of certain requirements. At this point, we have high hopes for future regulatory improvements. SpaceX has faced challenges due to excessive red tape, which has slowed their progress multiple times. In one instance, before a major Starship launch, SpaceX was in a disagreement with aviation regulators about the pace of pre-launch reviews. Adding to the tension, civil penalties were proposed for previous launches that allegedly didn't meet all requirements. In response, SpaceX's CEO announced plans to challenge these regulations in court, accusing the agency of overreach. Additionally, the California Coastal Commission rejected plans to expand SpaceX's rocket launches citing environmental concerns. This led to a debate about whether such decisions were politically motivated. However, the situation appears to be turning in SpaceX's favor. The U.S. Space Force awarded SpaceX contracts to launch national security missions from the same site where the Coastal Commission rejected expansion plans. This move suggests that military protection may play a role in supporting SpaceX's operations. And that wraps up today's episode. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.